Hey, Pastor Ryan here, the family ministry pastor at North. I've had the opportunity lately to teach the high school students a series called Write, Rewrite on Wednesday nights. And we've been learning from the wisdom of Solomon in Ecclesiastes chapter 3, verse 11, which says, God has made everything beautiful in his time. He's also set eternity in the human heart. And yet no one can fathom what God has done from beginning to end. Whether you realize it or not, you're writing a story with your life with the choices that you make and the people you include in your story and the paths and directions that you're taking. And Solomon is clearly telling us that our stories were not meant to end when our lives end. You're forever. Your soul will last forever. And God has placed a desire for eternity in your heart. And the truth is that you will not be fulfilled with the things of this world and the things that you can amount here until you have lived a life that has eternal significance. But honestly, we're incapable as humans of living a life that has eternal significance when we make our story about us. But if we will surrender the main lead character role in our story to God and let him be the one out front in front of the stage lights, leading the way, and we're just a supporting character in his story, then we have every opportunity to live an eternally significant story. See, God has been writing a story since the beginning of time and before, and he will keep writing it. And if we will just surrender the lead role in our lives to him, we will have so much more value and significance. Those good, great things you're accomplishing will mean more and even your suffering will have so much more significance if you'll just surrender that lead role of your life to God. So often when we look at scripture, we look at people who surrender their lives to God and, and we think, yeah, okay, I, I would like to do that if I can have a story like David. You know, I, I want to take down my Goliaths and I want to become a king and successful or I want to live a life like Elijah who, you know, called down fire from heaven and, and raised kids back from the dead. Like, that's the kind of story that I want if I surrender my heart and life to God. But the truth is so many people in scripture surrendered their main uh, story to God and things got worse. It did for Paul the Apostle, it did for Job, it even did for Jesus. Jesus suffered the most in his life, and yet he had the most eternally significant story. And if maybe you're going through a hard time right now, maybe things aren't going great, but if you will surrender the lead role of your life to God, if you'll begin praying prayers like, God, not, not my will be done, but whatever you want done, I'm all in, then your suffering will gain so much significance. It won't matter if things go good or things go bad. You will have joy. You will have hope because your eternal value will be achieved because you'll be living a life that adds to God's eternal story. It's never too late, never too late to let God write or rewrite your story. I'm challenging you today. Don't try to be the lead role in your life. Be the supporting character in God's story. And your life will gain so much value and eternal significance. Miss you guys. Love you guys. Hope you have a great day. Hope to see you soon. Thank you.